na ginawa nila pang mid natin. So, all in all, Team Faceless and both Team NP ay hindi sila takot nga mag-experiment. And I'm see, and we can just say na sobrang weird ng magiging draft nila nito. There's, um, so, there's a lot to really unravel after this one. So, yung mga kaibigan, ito lang ang sinasabi natin. Ang draft or ang meta natin mag evolve all throughout this tournament. At, ah, Kung magay ito lang yun eh, kapag ka nag -e evolve ibig sabihin, at the same time, kailangan nag adapt ka. Kasi syempre, iba yung pananaw nyo sa Dota, o nyari, faceless, iba yung pananaw nyo sa Dota kesa sa Team NP. At ang Team NP naman, iba din yung pananaw kesa sa EG. So, all of the teams need to adapt. If they don't adapt, manatalo lang kayo. Ito yan. Kailangan nilang wag. This is, parang sinasabi natin, parang sa... Uh, battle of the fittest, kumbaga. Only the fittest will survive dito. Especially for the masters. So, yan, namira. Anong mga first bands nila dyan? Uh, yun nga. And pinagba na ng CM at ng Lockwood. So, bakit bang yung, ba't ba nila sa team nyo binaban yung Clockwork and CM? Dahil ba dun sa last game ng Faces? Well, I think all in all naman kasi uh, Clockwork is a really good hero right now. Kumbaga, you can put him as a position 4, you can put him as a position 3, it doesn't matter. Yeah. She, uh, he will get his uh, levels talaga sa kahit anong lane ngayon. And uh, kumbaga, ito nga kasi yung pinaka-trend ngayon. Lahat ng offlaner, they just need their levels to be effective. Yes, they do think the goal, pero hindi talaga yun yung main point eh. Even if you don't have items, you still have that kill potential na sinasabi nga natin yeah. para goal. That is true, and of course, Clockwork is one, one hero na that fits the, the meta kasi yung meta di ba mabilis clockwork naman siya yung mabilis din pero pwede niyang pigilan yung aggression niya with of course the cogs as well as the hook and dami niyang pwede turn around Ten but eto na first pick enchantress from the side of team NP and I think AUI is smiling right now mga kaibigan ayun ano patagong ngiti yan alam mo mga poging player ganyan talaga mga patagong ngiti <laughs> poging player ka ba paling mga hindi. hindi ka player na no? hindi ano lang ako hindi ako player ang kasa lang ako <laughs> Oh, ikaw nagsabi niya na, ah, ikaw nagsabi niya na, okay lang, okay lang, kung galing sa'yo, okay lang sa akin. Wala akong problema dyan. Wala akong problema dyan. Ayos ba tayo niya, Messi? Ayos tayo niya, Yami. Yami. Pero which doctor dito ang pinili ng Team Faceless? And ito na nga yung sinasabi natin. Power duo tayo ngayon. And which doctor is one of the best support heroes na pwede mong gamitin against yung mga tipong Enchantress and Chen. Because Enchantress and Chen, Meron sila, siyempre na kumukasi na ng creeps, kin-enchant nila yung creeps. Tapos, pag ginamit nila yun, yung paralyzing cast dito, coming out from the Witch Doctor, will apply the stun as a creep, di ba? So, 5 seconds yung magiging stun nandun sa mga creeps, which means na yung rotations dito na enchantress, mahihirapan siyang gumalaw, kasi madali lang siyang kontray na Witch Doctor. Yes. And uh, inantay natin yung second pick ng faces dito, and they get the punch. That is a black hero. So, that, could that mean na mid Pudge? Kung no. makikita natin dito? I, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it or also. Or pwede din siya sumamang mag, mag roam siya or mag support din siya. Oh, position 4. We are absolutely right there, Amira. Usually, Ten team faceless. Yes, they do run it para kay Black. Pero kapag nagpa-pudge si Black, Five ginagawa nilang support. Remain. Position 4. Do you four. think na kaya ba ito ni Jabs? Jabs is the position 4 right now, if hmm. I'm not mistaken. If Jabs can play this hero like Black, then I think wala sila magiging problema dito. Pero this is actually kind uh, weird. Yun nga sinasabi natin, very unorthodox, but if it works, it works. But if it doesn't, it will bite you in the behind. Yeah, from the behind. <laughs> from the, kahit ano. Oh, tama, tama, tama ka naman, tama naman. Pero yeah, I, I, I don't know yet kung anong plano dito ng Faceless. Na, siguro ang pwede ko nalang masabi dito na, na reason nila why they picked the patch is because they were successful with it lalo na nung kaka-patch 7.0 lang. Napakuso nila yung patch na yan. Pangalawa, it's a comfort pick again for Black. Maybe they, Team Faceless ngayon gusto na lang, na lang nila mag-comfort pick. Si Daryl Ko Xiaofeng Yao. Basta yun si, ay mga kaibigan, si Timo nandun. Si Timo. Parang damo ko mabubukbuk mamaya yan si Loco. Sigloko. Pero shout out sa tropa natin yung Sigloko na kasama natin yan. Batrider, pinilit yun ng Team NP? 
I think it synergizes well with the Enchantress. Well, you have the Sticky Napalm and the Enchantress, you have the Charm for the slow. And uh, I think they can get rack up kills. Na yun lang ginagamit nila, especially with the Centaurs and the uh, Troll. Uh, troll. Ano yun? Troll Warlord. A troll Creep. Troll, troll Creep. Uh, I forgot the term. Troll Priest. Yata. Troll Priest. Yata. Troll Priest. Oh, yun. Yata. Tapos, uh, pwede nilang batuhin yun ng root or yeah. the stuns. And pw pwede sila makarack up ng kills talaga dito. Especially with a hero like Pudge. Mm -hmm. Na sobrang low, uh, low mobility hero. Maganda yung kit niya for uh, pick-offs. But uh, in terms of mobility, you need the four staff, you need the dagger to actually be mobile. And that uh, that is uh, at least fourth... Uh, 4,500, 4,600 gold. No. Para lang yeah. ka. That is quite For a huge six, investment. Yeah. Quite a huge investment indeed. Raman, Pak and the Weaver banned out for our game. Ember Spirit as well. So, this is quite a good ban for Team Faces. Kanina nakita niyo yung Ember ni Fata na talagang dinurog yung Invictus Gaming no, earlier this morning. Sobrang, ano niya eh, micro-intensive but he does the job. And, so, uh, kung tiisipin mo pala, no, Araw ng upsets pala to. Okay. NP versus IG. Okay. okay. Faceless versus OG. Mm. So ano yung na? Yung mga underdogs yung nanalo. So this so is a day of versus upsets. Underdog. And will the trend continue? Will Faceless win the, this series? At uh, di natin alam kasi kumbaga alam mo minsan ang trend. Pagka nag-trend, hashtag na tuloy-tuloy. Hashtag tuloy. trending. Hashtag tuloy-tuloy. Tama ba, Amira? Yung na-trend yung sa'yo dati, tuloy-tuloy yun. <laughs> so, yung mga panahon din ni Tontoy Brown, pati ikaw din sa'yo, bumira, 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 oh. bumira siyempre. Yes, yeah, siyempre, bumira, bumira, bumira pa rin. Bumira pa rin. Hashtag bumira pa rin. Hashtag bumira pa rin. Hashtag bumira pa rin. Yes. Nako. Next Assassin, again, another good pick for Faceless. Why? Because, of course, the Spy Carabase can be used against the Batrider. Yes. Sobrang kontra ng Nyx Assassin, ang Batrider with, of course, Carpes as well as the Mana Burn. Siyempre, matas ang intelligence ni Batrider. Kaya-kaya magstay dito. And of course, Daryl Ko, Eyes Eyes Eyes. Siya, isa sa mga paborito niyang hero yan. Well, uh, para sa akin dito, one of the things guys, the Batrider, and one of the things pa, is he can take out Enchantress with one combo. Yun okay. lang eh. Okay. Kung maga, you have the Vendetta. Isipin mo yung Vendetta. Ang hirap mo ipalo. Kasi merong untouchable na passive. Mm -hmm. Pero, hindi ka naman makikita na nilapitan mo na siya kung wala siya center wedge sa tabi mo. So, basically, I think for Team Faceless, one of the things na nakikita ko is they can actually go for an invoker with this lineup. Yeah, it, good combo with the punch, good combo with the witch doctor. Of course, the Nyx Assassin is a marvelous combo with the invoker. Yeah, I think that invoker is indeed a good pick for Faceless. At, paboritong hero din ni Jabs yan. So, anong tingin mo, Amira, dito pwede piliin ng Team NP? Ngayon nila pa akong maisip talaga na mag, Oy, may ipipick nila as carry pero kung kukuha man sila ng carry since naban na yung Weaver Jug, pwede silang kumuha dito ng AM din. Mm. Pwede. Pwede. I, I, we all know na si Jackie Miao naman is yun sa mga oh, player, player na kung ano-ano pinipili pa minsan. Pero I think it's prob... Uh, kung baga may possibility. Uh, they would go for an AM. Anong tingin mong ipipick nila? Uh, eh, hindi ko pa kasi makita talaga kung ano yung pinaka ano eh. Pero if uh, ako ang papapiliin mo, they need a carry na online agad. Uh, they need someone na kaya mag frontline. And I think one hero that will fill uh, that spot will be a Bristleback. Will be a Bristleback. Yeah, Bristleback is still on the pool indeed. Hmm? Actually, Faceless can get... The Bristleback as well. I'm seeing, yeah, because he is very tacky. Something that Batrider wouldn't uh, pick. But you know, 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 target, uh, parang least priority mo sa target. Siyempre, napakakunat yan. And of course, pagkakit Chantress, kapag inahabol siya using the Impetus, tatalikod lang siya. And of course, he can tack up most of the damage from the Impetus. And of course, deal out yung mga Quill Spray nga naman. Yeah. Good pick for Team Faces here. Pero, I think Team NP dito is taking their time kasi 
they were expecting that they will get the bristle back but bristle back dito oh, inuna na nga nauna na ang faceless dito so team NP taking their time I think uh, I think uh, they should get their oh, pero oh, they go for a Luna so eto na nga sinasabi natin mga kaibigan they're gonna go for a hero that can fight as early as level 6 they need someone who uh, can contribute dun sa mga laban natin sa early game to mid game and uh, with the Eclipse I think maganda yan for the side of Team NP. Ten seconds. Hmm. It also gives them a way to take objectives. I think yes. Enchantress plus Luna, pwede, napakalakas na po siya niyan. Kasi pag meron si Enchantress na makuha ang creeps, it will also be buffed by yung buff ni Luna, which is the Lunar Blessing. Gives them additional damage, which again translates to them taking the objective. So I think that still very good for the, uh, Team NP dito. I really like it a lot. So, but, yun, nakikita nyo naman dito. And, uh, Amir, ano bang manasabi mo dito sa mga nakikita mong picks ngayon? Radiant Team Back. Anong masasabi mo? Anong masasabi mo dito sa mga pick na to? Na ginawa ng Team NP at Team Face. Pero ito, yung sa Team NP, maganda nga yung naging picks nila as Luna. Mag magdali nga sila makakapag-push dito kasi yung Nyx dito, pwede din siyang mag-roam ng mag-roam. Pumitas ng pumitas ng mga, kalab mga kalaban nila. And yung sa Brizelbach, eh, yung sa Team Faceless naman, having Brizelbach as one of their heroes, malaking tulong din yun sa Clash para itank niya yung mga damage, damage ng MP. So, yun nga ang sinasabi natin dyan. Kasi talaga, uh, least probable nga na target dito for the Batrider will be the Bristleback. But when time comes, when push comes to shove, talagang mapipilitan sila hawakan yan. Ilayo, ilapit, i-burst down. Hindi natin alam. Pero Bristleback will be Bristleback. At kaya niya tangkihin lahat ng damage dito na mababato sa kanya in the mid-game. Given that he has a normal or a good laning phase. Yeah. Queen of Pain was banned by Team NP. Of course, Team Faces doesn't have a mid laner first. Lina, ang pick dito ng Team NP. I think it's um, decent against the side of Faceless. But I'm worried about yung initiations dito ng Lina against the Nyx Assassin. Nyx Assassin is generally also good against the Lina. Siyempre, kapag kinakas yung Dragon Slave, nasa ground lang yan. Pwedeng tankin niya na Spike Carapace. Also, mataas ang int gain ni Lina. Ibig sabihin, yung mana burn dito ni Nyx Assassin can deal a lot of damage against the Lina. Pero ito nga kasi yung concern ko dyan. With Team Faceless dito, Nyx Assassin is on their side. And ito na nga sinasabi natin kanina na Invoker will get picked. Dahil nga naman dun sa uh, setups na mabibigay ng patch ng Nyx Assassin. Well, para sa akin kanina kasi, pwede rin nila i-relegate dito yung Nyx Assassin sa ano, eh, mid eh. Oh, They could okay. just get another uh, another hmm. offlaner probably so pang setup lang din. Black will be the Invoker dito and Jabs eh, will be the punch. Alam mo, nag-trivia naman si Kuya D. Hmm. Nag-trivia si Kuya D. Nakita mo na daw ba mag yan si Black? Halina well, actually, oh, that, that, even in the dati pa eh. I mean, isa sa mga legendary na parang benchmark din niya ng paggamit ng Invoker. And even even before na nung, sikat, nung kasikatan pa niya. So, tanong ko lang kayo ba sa tingin niyo, sinong mananalo dito sa dalawang team? Five seconds remaining. Yeah, I would favor the faceless draft right here. It's pretty standard. They get their comfort picks. Uh, Maganda yung bristle back pick nila ito. I think it answers a lot of the aggression from the side of Team NP. So, ang daming nasosolve na problema nila using that bristle back. Para sa akin kasi, sa stage natin ngayon, sa 7.06, ang daming pang uh, pinapalitan, ang daming pang ina-adjust. And at the same time, ito kasi yun. Sa panahon ngayon, sa panahon natin ngayon, sa face natin ngayon sa meta, sa pagkakaalam natin, simple is good. Okay. Yun na talaga yung pinakamaganda doon. Yung pinakamagandang explanation doon. Okay. Mas basic, mas okay. Pag nag-run ka ng complex na draft, hindi natin kasi alam kung paano talaga magiging ano yun eh, mag, mag work yun against certain lineups na standard. Yeah. Well, you can actually go for off-meta picks. Pero right now, boss loan, <laughs> boss loan, ay, dab, uh, dab, dab, dab. <laughs> Si Kuya D, si Boss Lo, nandiyan sila. Ay, boss. At nandiyan si Boss Ronald Robbins. Naku po, <laughs> si Sante tayo, pa nagkamali tayo dito. So, wala na. Start na po tayo. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. 
So, so oh. ayan, maraming maraming salamat, Amira, sa, inyo, sa iyong pag-host sa amin dito and papasok na kami sa game. Yeah. Team MP dito, of course, Eternal LV will be that Luna Fata on that Nina MSS with his Batrider, Aoi 2000 on that Enchantress and Pylai Dai with the Warlock. And for the side naman ng Faceless, it's Jabs on the Pudge Black. Ang maglalaro ng Invoker dito, Nuts, Magwiwitch, Doctor Sha, Ice 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 as the next Assassin and XY on that Bristleback. XY, Uy, indeed. Uy, Scuba Goggles. Grabe, magaling. Is, is scuba Duba Du. Mm, yan yung bagong nga eh, sa Collector's Cash na... Available na ngayon sa mga treasures. It is indeed really good. Gusto kayo mga skin kaso. Wala naman tayong JP dito. Maring butters. Alam mo, <laughs> madaming asagubat. Maraming asagubat. At uh, maraming JP. <laughs> maraming che maraming, maraming Benjamins. Chepi. Maraming Benjamins. Kapag ka natapos, ang dapat matapos. Pero yun nga mga kaibigan, FLNNP, mag magsisimula ba ang trend dito or dito matatapos? O ma Magko-continue ba yung trend or dito ba matatapos yung day of upsets natin? Well, you would say, kasi kung sabi mo day of upsets, eh, para silang yung nanalas upsets. So, both of them are considerably underdogs naman. So, tingnan na lang natin kung sino ang mas malakas na underdog dito sa ating labanan. Will it be the Faceless or Team NP? And Uy, meron tayong ganyan. No, Who wins? NP? or FN. So, meron tayong .NP. Pero ito si AUY. Low mobility hero. Nasa slow pa siya dito. Fata with the support. But will he save his ally? Yes, he will. Hindi kaya. Mga kaibigan at naglalaro sila dito. FL daw ang mananalo. Pero ang NP hindi ganun kalayo. Medyo pumapalag tayo dito. At lasa side lahat ng FL. Mga kaibigan. Pero si Ice Ice Ice. Naku po. Binibigyan dito unti-unti. Shadow Word. Napakagad ng lane ito. About Lina versus Invoker, always gonna root for the Lina. It's easy to root for the Lina, of course. Pero kung magaling naman ang Invoker, sabi nga natin, eh, It's okay all about din. skill. It's all some, about the skills. Uh, some, some matchups are all about skill. Yun lang talaga pinakasabi natin. Hindi kasi masasabi na ano yan eh. Hindi mo kasi masasabi na... Uy, mas malakas yung hero ko dun sa ano, mas malakas yung damage yeah. output ko. Dun na natin natatapos. Siyempre, kailangan din natin makita kung paano mo nilalaro at kung paano niya dinedecide kung nagamitin yung kanyang mga skills dito or yeah. nasakit niya. In the end, it's all about the skills. Okay, sabi nga natin. Skills. Pero, skills that kills. Skills to get the kills. Oh, pakaganda. Na, grabe ang ganda ano ba yan? It's a manta ray, man. Anong, anong, ano yan? Anong Tagalog yan? Pagi, pa, pagi, pa, pa, parang ganun. Si Bat Rider. Oo, oh, si ngayon iba na, iba na siya. Pagi Rider na siya ngayon. Manta Ray Rider. Grab oh. Pagi. Grab Pagi. Pagi ba? Tawa? Parang di ko alam, di ko pagi. sure ah, di ko sure ah. Pero baka magkamali ako dun. Don't quote me on that, boys and girls. May nanonood man na, girls. Eh, nanonood si Amira. Oo oh, naman. Oh. Oh. Tama ka naman, tama ka naman. Hindi ka naman nagkakamali dyan. Hindi ka naman nagkakamali dyan. Kasi pag babae ka, hindi ka lalaki. Hindi ka lalaki. But yeah, I mean the matchup dito naman sa top lane, it's gonna be the Bat Rider against the Bristleback. I think Bristleback will get the upper hand for sure. Pero Bat Rider, kapag tama yung timing niya ng between jungling, between pooling, and of course the laning, I think he's still gonna get a lot of experience as well as ramping up the gold heading to his blink dagger. So I think it's still fine for Team NP for this top lane. Pero dito sa bottom lane, I think Ice 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 will be forced out of this lane. Yes. After a while, double mango. Tino mo yung ano yung six point six. After the double mango, pero Brazil back might pay the price. Oh, MSS dito getting way too greedy at ah. Yeah. Oh, pero wala eh. Kung baga nandun pa rin si Witch Doctor. Wag mo pa rin respetuhin mo pa rin yung uh, composition or disable ng try lane dito bago ka magkasim. Kasi hindi mo naman alam kung sino magagaling dito. You can't have all information sa mga supports sa kahit anong araw dito at uh, mm, ako po maganda ang ginagawa dito mga kaibigan ng Team Faceless nagiging ano lang sila eh nagiging nagka-counteract lang sila sa mga ginagawa dito mm. ng uh, Team NP and uh, kung ganito yung gagawin nila alam naman natin na sinasabi natin lagi is NP is very aggressive so if ever ma-counteract nila at uh, magagawa nila na paraan lahat ng ibabato sa kanila I think malaki ang chance na manalo sila dito. Mm. 
Team Faces, I think they are also capitalizing on the fact that oh, the Hulk no, will connect no, no, no. on Eternal Envy. Eternal the Sunstrike, Envy. Sunstrike it, it will hit. Pero yun, the Tore. tower shot Tore, ang huli will secure naman. the kill. Impale into the Hulk. Beautiful Toto coming out of Faceless. Dito with the Great Sink. But the rapper on though from the Enchantress, he has two creeps right now. Meron siya nung Satyr, meron din siya nung, uh, I think, what was it again? Pero hindi ko nakita yung isa, pero dalawa yung kanyang creeps. Jabs though, with the Invis rune might get the hook onto Fata. Has to be careful. Ay, yun, naka-inbi no, mga besi. At eto na si Jabs hook. with the hook. Nahuli siya dito, AUI. Pinipilit niya tulungan yung kampi niya. AUI dito, naipit din. The deny coming out dito for the nuts. For the body blocks black, helping jabs dito para hindi siya maabot ng mga creeps. Uy. Good blocking, good teamwork from the side of faces. That's 3-0. Even after the death from the witch doctor, I think it's still worth it. Kasi deny lang naman yun after the Roshan. So, faces coming up big. They are capitalizing on the fact na yung laning nila pwedeng maging advantageous kapag hindi nakakuha ng tamang rotation yung enchantress. And yun nga sinasabi ko kanina, di ba? Hindi lahat ng informasyon mabibigay sa'yo ng words. Uh, tungkol sa supports. Kasi yung supports, ano yan eh, gumagala yan, umiikot yan, nag sa mga ibang lugar. So, hindi mo alam talaga kung nasan sila. And kung hindi ka aware, eh, yun talaga yung pinaka-problema mo sa pudge. Yung element of surprise na tinatawag natin dito. Yeah, that is one of the winning factors, lalo na kung, kung pudge players ka. Perfect rune din yung nakuha niya kanina in this rune. Pero dito, smoke from AOI 2000 gonna be spotted by the nuts. And Pero yun, gotta be spotted by the nuts indeed. At eto na, mga kaibigan, Dragon Slave will Magic connect. Wand, Pero nuts though. dito, hindi na nila ipipilit. At baka mamaya nandun si Breeze. Mm. At napaka-agang push nito. Parang Butters, that's just almost 6 minutes in. At nakakuha sila ng Tori. Pero dito sa baba, Ice 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 toying with the Luna. Pero magmimites mo oh, na Hulk, still naman will man. connect. Dito, Eternal Envy, makapag-TV mo siya. And the Sun Strike it will, will get the kill. Jab! Is good din. No. Pero, no po, pero si XY, XY dito nakuha ng kill. Pero first kill, nakuha na ng NP dito. At uh, bawat isang kill na nakuha dito ng NP. May lima. At uh, mamaya tignan natin kung masagot ba ito ng ano, NP. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, nabibigyan mo kasi ng mga kills yung, yung mga horse mo. That's Jabs getting, the, I mean, the Black getting the kill as well as XY. So that's those are cores. At lal, every time na makakuha sila ng kills, we're always gonna favor that. Pero yun nga, nakita naman natin na kahit nakakuha ng 5 kills na dito ang FL, hindi sila ganun kalamang. Kasi 6 minutes into the game, nakakuha na agad ang NP dito ng isang tower, yung mid lane tower pa. Ida para sa akin, yun ang pinaka-importante tower ngayon. Kasi it holds all the keys to the jungle resources. Pero ayun, the Pagi Rider will go down. Jabs dito. Napaka-successful ng mga rotations. Kaya. Double siege creep dito. This is the idea from Team NP. Gusto lang nilang mag-push. Dalawang siege creep dito. The buff yan. Tandaan nyo. And because of that, they can push the towers pretty quickly. Look at that. Tier 1 tower almost going And down. si Pata dito may double damage rune. Paano magagawa nila dito? Eternal Envy actually rotating. Using that aura to yeah. boost his allies' um, damage. Napaka-solid. His ano? Allies, ano? His allies damage. Ah, alam oh, ko. Bakit? Bakit? <laughs> Iba yung narinig ko sinami mo eh. Ano ba? Sabi mo parang allies, um... Ano? Allies, um... Anyway. An <laughs> allies, um... Gets, ano ba allies, yan? Um, ano ba? Huwag mo na ipilit. Huwag mo na ipilit. Huwag mo na ipilit. Nasa iin na. na. Ah. Ang mga kasama niya allies na ngayon, si Toby Wan. Si Toby Wan. Si Siyempre, Capitalist. Siyempre, English casters. Siyempre, kailangan din. din, din, din natin pero inaabangan ko din si Wolf Casts. Naku ba? Ay, pa, tayo, may, may fan page yun eh. May fan page yun. Public figure. Public, public figure. figure. Pero yun nga, going back to the game tayo dito mga chong. This is something unusual. Nasabi nga natin, Team NT is a theory, theory crafting team. So, ideally, if you think about it, 7 minutes mag-spawn yung mga siege creeps. And ginamit yun ng Team NT to their advantage. Ginamit yun ng enchant para kunin yung dalawang siege creeps around the map and then push. Pero si AUI them. dito, naku po mabibigyan. Uy. Pero yung hook, nagkamali. Nagkamali, nagkamali. Ay nako, hindi alam naman laging Pasko. Alam mo, alam mo, ito lang yung nangyari doon eh. Traidor yung sarili ng Pip Sinalu. Oh. Sabi niya, sabi niya, Jabs, ako na lang kunin mo. Atabs mo me. Atabs mo me, Jabs. 
Six is to one pa rin ang ating uh, score. Pero, of course, that's Faceless favorite. Eh. Pero yung team NB kasi nakaka-catch up sila dahil dun sa dalawang towers na kanilang napatumba. Pero si Pai Laiday dito na ko po mabibigyan ata. Black, Ayun, there's a boat. Dahil sa strike will connect. Yes, it will. And just like that, Pai Laiday. Tutumba yeah. siya dito. Fata with the Invistron might get the knock-up on the Black. The oh, stun will not connect. Yung, pero yung stun pala na tumama, yung Lucent micro stun. Beam. Netong Lucent Beam, huh? Eternal Envy. Kung medyo maaga-aga siya dumating doon, baka napigilan niya ng micro stun niya. Yung one. That is true, pero nakakuha pa rin na kinito. Faceless, they're still in terms of net worth. Even after losing two towers, that's XY with the Vanguard agad dito. I think that was about a minute ago yung nakuha niya. So, nakikita niyo naman ang net worth mga Chong. Naunguna Invoker. So, doon ang Brizal ba kanina, pero nakukusan siya ng Lina. Pero yun na nga mga kaibigan, 1-7 ang score natin ngayon. And let's go for an item check. Medyo basic pa lang ang items nila dito. Everyone is just getting their core items. Ang pinaka-notable pa lang dito is the Vanguard. The Vanguard or in. the Brizal back. So, medyo mas magiging madali ang buhay niya dito. Kung baga, tatandaan nyo, kung batuyin nyo siya dito ng, ano, ng uh, Laguna Blade, eh, meron namang tinatawag na tiered uh, raindrop, infused raindrops, raindrop, na kaya mag-negate uh, ng damage niya. Gusto gusto kayong ginawa dito ng Team NP. They know that the patch favored yung Siege Creeps. Kasi gin, ano yun, tumaas yung damage, tumaas yung HP, tumaas din yung bonus damage against the... Uh, at ayun, at ayun, nakita mo, napakabastos oh, ni Jabs. Grabe talaga. Hook-hook gotcha. lang. O oh, diba, nagtatantant pa siya dun. Oops. O oh, ano lang, La ah, tamang lasit lang, tamang lasit lang. Hindi pala yun, ganun pala kapag uh, ganun yung cosmetic mo, oh, umiikot-ikot talaga. Pero ito, double damage rune on Nyx Assassin. He wants to find someone, meron siyang vendetta dito. Pero ang, ting ang tanong, meron ba siyang maabutan? They are pinging down the bottom lane. And uh, they will try to get the bottom lane tower. I think this is the right... Uh, yeah. The right decision for Team NP. Wala hindi na siyang nila, vendetta hindi, though. Hindi At nila kaya. Na siya. Pero ito ah, Fata dito mga kaibigan. Mauli ata siya. He gets boxed out. Isolated. The hook is Uy. there. Pero wala. Hindi. Tingnan natin kung makatakbo siya dito. May TV bang mapapwer sa dito. For the side of Team NP. Apat dito ang nag-rotate. Na two man LSA. He will try to go for nuts. Laguna Blade on nuts. He will kill nuts. Pero XY will still secure the kill. Pero napaganda. Dito sa mid lane, Bad Rider was blocked. There's the chaotic offering connecting and the lasso as well. There's a lot of damage onto the invoker and they will take him down. 3 is to 8. Baga nakuha niyo mid lane. Nakuha niyo mid lane namin. Kami rin. Kunin ko na namin mid lane. Hindi naman pwedeng kayo-kayo lang. Hindi pwedeng kayo-kayo lang. Yan, hindi yan yung kayo-kayo lang. So, yan. In the top lane, here's Team NP Luna with another... Siege creep going in, uh, in his favor at makakapush na naman yata sila dito. Look at that. Chaotic the golem tags up the Pero creeps dito. Pero may center sila dito. May ispatan dito si Ice Ice kapag lumapit siya ng konti. At uh, medyo binibate dito ng Team NP para medyo lumalim siya. Oh. Pero Ang bilis nila oh, mapatumbo. Nakita yun na, na siya dito mga kaibigan. Pero ito na tatakbo na sila. Lucid Beam is there. Pero hindi nila gagawin. Go, or is it? They don't have the ultimates though. So, mukhang hindi nila... The hook though will not connect. Mahuli to Siege Creep. Pero ang Tore ay mapapatong pa pa rin. This is a tier 2 tower down. 12 minutes into this game. That is quite fast for Team NP. They're okay, using the meta for the world. Kills. Kunin nyo lahat ng kills. Sa inyo na lahat yan. Sa inyo Amin na lahat ng tower. Hindi namin gusto yan. Hindi namin gusto yan. Mapagmahal kami. <laughs> Mapagkahal kami mga tao. Ayaw namin nananakit ng iba. Patay-patay nyo kami. Yeah. Pero at the end of the day, mahal namin kayo. Totoo yan. Pero uh, tingin mo ba pa rin, Butters, do you think this nice uh, meta, I mean the pushing meta, will it be successful in this game? So far, it is successful. So it far, is successful. Nakakuha sila Pero ang pinaka-problema nila sa akin ito si Eternal NB na hook, nasa strike lahat binigay, tinalbukan ng paralyzing cast, and they will still get the kill. And ayun nga yung uh, sinasabi mo kanina, parang dude. Parang dude. Uh, parang dude. Ano uh, kasi, ito yan. Mabubush nyo yung mga tier 2 towers. Mabubush nyo agad tier 2 towers. Pero, pagdating ng high ground, merong padje. Eh. Yeah, okay. So, that ibig sabihin... True. Pero dito, AOI, wala, oh. look at that vendetta. Super slow-mo. Oy, oy, na. Oy, pero Tumaan may kasama na. ng tropa. Pero ayun, the sunstrike. Sunstrike. Uy, tinangkinong... Tinangkinong creep. Tinangkinong creep. The, the, the micro from AUI 2000. It was perfect. It saved him there at XY. Looking for Fata but not gonna find him. Grabe yung micro ni AUI 2000 dun. He had 
the idea na isa sa strike siya for sure. So, hinarang niya, pinag-share oh. niya yung clips niya. Nakita mo kung gano'n sila kakulang. Wow. Nakita mo kung gano'n kakulang dun yung Team NT. Mm-hmm. Naglago na Blade, di ba sa ano? Naglago na Blade sa Nix Assassin. Sa Witch Doctor. Sa Witch Doctor pala. Pero ito na. Uy, pero ito, yun, wala nakita takas. mo naman. Oh, walang takas talaga yan. Wala naman siyang... Pag nilapag niya yung golem, They yung want to yung turn game. around though. Nuts might get caught here. And Indeed, na, nalaso siya dito. At nahuli ni si Pudge. At ito na. Si Nuts dito na huli ng Eclipse. Pero yung Eclipse bumanda ba na sa Ancient Rips? Ang okay. MSS dito will get the double kill. Ice, ice, ice. Medyo may slight misstep dito with the Spark. Kaya rapace hindi niya natapakan yung Firefly. Pero I don't think that would have mattered anyways. I think mapapatay pa rin si Pudge regardless of what happened. He wants another kill. He might get the kill on to Fata. And there you go. The stun. The sun strike. It will connect. Oh, one it more is hit. perfect on the mark. They will get the kill and they might get the follow-up as well. Si Ice 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 dito ha. Pamahitas na siya. At ayun mga kaibigan na uli siya. Spy Carapace in two. At ayan na. Paralyzing cast. The stun. The death ward. Wow. Tingnan natin. What placement. Skill. Dito coming up from Nuts. Death ward. Ang ginamit nilang way para ma-turn around. Ito yung sinasabi natin na talino at galing na mag-execute ng faceless. They know na kaya nila turn around. Ice, ice, ice. Waited for the perfect moment na gamitin niya yung Spark Carapace para mapigilan yung Batrider. Enough for him to survive. At makapag-set up ng stun ng Paralyzing Cast para sa Witch Doctor. At nag-volleyball doon yung Luna tsaka Batrider. Pare ko eh. Skill placement talaga, Bessie. Kung baga, nasa timing. kanila ng timing. Na, kung baga, tinan mo ngayon, NPO. 5-12 ang score, score natin ngayon. Pero tignan nyo naman, 2K Nethworth ang lamang dito ng faceless. Bakit? Dahil sa towers. Dahil sa towers, of course. And especially pa na na-utilize nila syempre yung jungle nila dito with the enchantress. So hindi talaga masyado kalamang dito ang uh, faceless. Yeah. Although Midas is picked up by the Dix Assassin. At pwede nito mapapabilis ang uh, network oh. growth ng faceless especially on the Dix Assassin. Pero ito na naman, another siege creep stolen. Nakayanin ba nila ito? Pero ito, nakaka-harap. Pero ayun, the hook. Ba't ganun na kadali? At uh, tingnan mo, parang walang bawas. Nilayo pa nila. Partidan nilayo ko pa para mas malakas yung damage mo. Ayun na nga. So may dalawang siege creeps na yun ang team MP. But I don't think that Faceless will allow them to push. There's gonna be another gag here, Luna. Pero ayun. Pero di, makunat-kunat na si Luna ngayon with the... Madness as well, using that to boost his at this move speed at makakataka siya dito. Pero tingin mo ba, ang pinaka, at paramdam ko ang pinakamagandang timing talaga dito na kulihin ni Ice 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 itong si Luna is kapag ka nakamadness siya. Okay. Para yung less yung armor, of less course. Less armor, syempre. Mm-hmm. Para hindi sila mag-isip. Pero X, ito, Y, D, go! They will Nako try po. to go for the engage. Lasso on that prison back. Tatlo lang sila kakunat. dito. Pero tignan mo, napakakunat dito na isang prison back. Sobrang dami ng skill na nabato sa kanya. He's using the trees to his advantage. Advantage, pero to no avail, he will go down. A big pick up for Team NP dito. Tatlo ang kinilang commit, pero that, that's fine. Hindi nila sila gumamit ng golem dito. They only use the lasso, which is a low cooldown na skill. And a big team fighting skill as well. Pero yun nga, nakakuha sila ng isang prize na target. That's the Bristleback. That's one of the top net worth heroes dito. It's a big win for Team NP. Tingin ko kung buo yung buhay ng Bristleback doon, baka kinumit nila yun. Rin. Pero kasi medyo talagang mababa na yung buhay niya. Nasa one half, nasa ganun na lang yun. Do you think that the Hood of Defiance or the Pipe of Insight is a big pickup dito para kay Bristleback or magpupunta na ba siya sa isang road na lang? Pangamdam ko, basically casual ano na lang yun eh. Hood. Hood na lang yun. Okay. That's Baga, understandable. Kung isipin mo doon din, ang pinakakalaban mo lang dito yung Firefly. Firefly, Fatal Bonds. Sige yung Dragon Slave okay din. Pero kung tutusin mo, ang pinakadami siya man talaga din is through right clicks. It's through the Enchantress okay. ano din. So kumbaga, pwede ka mag-pipe pero... It's the least uh, effective, effective, cost-effective, cost-effective item. item na pwede mo siya kunin pero nasa baba siya ah, ng mas Okay, Okay, that's understandable. Blade Mail is still, I think, good for uh, the side of Faceless dito. Kasi may mga skills dito ang NP na hindi nila kaya pigilan. Katulad nga ng Firefly at yung Eclipse. So kapag nag-pop ka ng Eclipse, kapag nag-pop ka ng Firefly, yung Blade Mail dito tatakihin ng talaga ni Prison Black. Even when you don't target it to him. Pero hindi ko pa nga nakikita dito yung ano eh. Pinaba ko pa yung panahon na makita tayo nung ano, eclipse na ilalagay sa ano, ah, sa storm, storm spirit. Pwede, Tapos pwede. yung aganips diba pwede mo ilalagay oh, sa kape. Tapos mag-slash away siya dun. 
They have to be careful. May pwedeng mahook dito pero Bristol back just manning up the hook. Oh, well connect on Fata. On Fata. The sun strike. One man down dito for the side of Team NP. Tikwasa na ito pero medyo bawas dito ang Roshan. So uh, sa lahat ng pwede mahook sa instance na yun. Si Fata pa talaga. Si Fata pa talaga. Yeah that is true. Big take down for the side of Faceless. They get the mid laner from Team NP. Also, the top net worth. So, ibig sabihin, mar malaki-laking pera makukuha nila dito. At napigilan nila yung Roshan. I think that's also in an important factor dito para sa Eden Faceless. Of course, getting the Roshan is an objective na kailangan mong i-consider. Lalo na kung objective-based lineup ka. Pero ito mo uli ata si Pilar. Dika, munti ka na. Unti-unti na lang yun. Mm -hmm. Jobs on the pudge. Pare ko eh. Tingnan natin. Faceless just changing up their... Parang... Bukod sa mataas yung hero pool nila, mataas din yung parang player pool or position pool nila, parang yung uh, butters. Parang yung so mga players na player sa tali. Yeah, I guess. Tama uh, yung... Call it, call it versatile. Kasi uh, when you can play one or two... Uh, kasi ito yun eh. Iba kasi, ngayari, ako mid laner talaga ako. Ay, ang pinakaayaw ako nairinig kapag ka kunyari dati may... Di ba manager ako dati uh -oh. ng region? Ang pinakaayaw ako nairinig dati, anong role mo? Any role uh, po, yun yung pinaka ayaw ko naririnig. Okay. Ah, gusto ko naririnig ganito. Alam ko lang ruin lahat ng role, pero komportable ako oh. pagdating ng offlane, ng okay. midlane. Kasi I kapag sinabi mong any role, oh, sige. Any, any role, sakit nilalagay. It's gonna be a smoke from NP, pero wala silang mahuhuli dito. Napakalalim nila. They can push again. Look at that. Another stolen na, I mean the enchanted na siege creep. Again, we've talked about this a lot of times this game. This is quite important. But faceless, will they allow the push? Napaganda na kanilang high ground defense dito, parang butters. They have bristle back. Uh, can deal a lot of damage in the short cooldown. Of course, meron silang invoker. Pwede nga may turn yung EMP pero, para mag-defend. Pero ang ginawa dito ni XY, ha, kumuha na siya ng pipe niya. Kung baga, better safe than sorry. Kung baga, nasa least priority mo siya. Pero kung baga, it will help your allies a lot. Yeah, lalong sure. lalo na si Nats dito. Yeah. At saka isipin mo, yung ginagawan damage ni Pudge, magic damage yan sa sakili niya. Nakupo na hole dito. Catch out Eternal Envy. Na oh, oh the, the hook. hook. Well, Saktong, secure Saktong. the Three kill. Three points mga kaibigan, may kasama pang foul. Pero dito, meron silang sentry ward block. Getting a lot of damage, pero na dito na si Ice Ice Ice, the hook will not the land. The will not land. Pero ito na, the dismember to remember. Double kill, black. This Whoa, arm, nice. siya dito. Very Hindi nice. Siya and he will try to run. Nasal Gu is there. Fata dito, pinipigilan niya. And that is a four-man stun coming out from Fata. Three-man stun. The hook oh, the will hook. connect onto the Enchantress. They do have the damage. They will take him down. Tatlo. Ang napatumba dito ng Team NP, walang namatay sa side ng Faceless. Grabe, pinapakita dito ng Faceless. Uh, uh, aminado si Black kanina sa kanyang interview na nag-fall off na sila and uh, they weren't really doing good dito sa okay. Southeast Asia. Pero ngayon mukhang sila ang una nakapag-adapt. Yun na nga, napakabilis nilang mag-adapt sa meta. That is something na makukuha mo kapag veteran si mga players mo. Yun nga yung sinasabi ko pare, di ba? Yung meta natin, mag -e evolve all throughout uh, Manila Masters. Gumawa dito ang NP, pinabuso nila yung uh, meta. Yung fast-paced meta fast natin. Fast-paced meta natin na minsan na lang lumabas yung siege creeps. Okay. At uh, mas malakas na sila ngayon. Mm -hmm. Pero dito, faceless, nakuha sila ng dalawang tower. Nakuha sila ng, uh, ng tatlong, apat na tower to be exact. Uh -huh. Yung tier 2 at saka yung tier 1 dito ng taas, yung tier 1 ng mid at yung tier 1 ng baba. And they adapted. Agad-agad. Yeah. Kasi kung hindi sila nakapag-adapt noon, pakiramdam ko, ibang iba at sure ka ng mapa natin ngayon. Pakiramdam ko, wala na tayong mga tier 2. At uh, pinipilit na dito ng, ng NP na umangat at i-chip down yung towers dito. When there was a ward, kitang-kita sila doon. They know exactly what's gonna happen here. So they know. Pero the pero spec oh, arapace. The arapace. Pero punch dito. Sun strike. Well, land, pero dito na si XY. He can deal the damage. But Pudge, though, will be taken down by Farah. And, uh, pero ang kapalit, Deathward yata dito na sa, on the other side. But Nuts will be taken down by the Luna. Pero wala, Bessie. That is still a Pudge. Kumbaga... Support. Those are supports. And uh, hindi sila yung pinaka-problema. Well, one thing na nakita ko dito is uh, both teams were prepared. Kaya tingin ko, kahit, kahit iwan mo si... 
jobs to na magkikot-ikot, hindi naman siya maglalan ng hook kung talagang aware kayo kung saan siya magagaling. I don't like this Batrider without the Blink Dagger, opting for the drums. I think hindi naman sa mas ginusto niya yung drums kaysa sa Blink Dagger. It's more about hindi siya napag-farm. Now he has the Blink Dagger, now they can start the fights. That's 23 minutes. Inaabangan lang nila mag-madness eh. Madness is indeed Pero ito. walang sentry. Oy, pero dito, mga kaibigan. Ayun na nga. Ayun na. Inabangan niya. Nagmada siya dito. Pero the damage won't be enough. Hook and the hook. to the warlock. Oh, and the dismember. MSS. MSS. siya dito. Wala din siyang ginawa. Tumakbo na lang siya. TP pa tayo. TP pa layo. TP pa layo, indeed. TP sabay mo. I think okay lang din. That's, again, if you think about it, that's just support. So I think you're happy trading up your supports. Pero, again, that is something that Faceless will be happy about. Happy about indeed paring wolf at ito na nakikita nyo naman na yung aggression na pinapakita ng NP is tumigil na dito ng sobra okay That, tumigil na mismo na sobra eh kumbaga alam na nila eh sa ganitong line up hindi ka dapat tumitigil sa ganito eh ang main focus nito is to choke uh, choke out faceless para hindi na sila makapag-farm dito sa mga gubat nila you need to take advantage or you need to dominate the early to the mid early game to mid game laning or the laning phase rather okay at saka early game to mid game din as well uh, mm -hmm. totoo din yun kumbaga i-choke out mo na sila ng resource dito huwag mo na sila hayaan na, na magkaroon sila ng farm dito at uh, tanggalan mo sila ng resources yeah i mean kasi faceless as you've said sa mid sa early game malakas ang bristle back pero he needs the items invoker needs the items this big uh, assassin needs items. Another takedown. Dito, sabay blink out. Sabi nga nila, cool guys, don't look at explosions. Mm -hmm. At ganon si Ice Ice Ice. Cool guys, don't look. Do, ano cool guys? Don't, don't look, look at, at explosions. explosions. Yan. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Indeed. At eto na solar, solar crest. So ibig sabihin, kahit talbog talbog mo, wala nang wala nang pakaramdam sa nakaramdam mo. Uh, May vision na siya. At ah, uh, Tingin ko, naging problema rin dito sa NP, inunan ng Batrider yung drums eh. Kumbaga, yung pick of potential niyo from the get-go, sana kung pinili mo una yung dagger kaysa dun sa drums. Okay sana. Mas maganda sana eh, pero wala eh. Kumbaga, gusto, ginusto niya yan. Siya na bahala dyan. And Faceless, doing a great job dito. Blocking hindi ba kita yung word dun? Mukhang hindi, mukhang hindi. hindi, nga, mo ang hindi. Tingin ko, na-block ata ng na -block, puno eh. Na-block talaga, na-block nga sakto. Pero ito, internal enemy na naman yun. Ako po. Dai, dai, na naman. Wala na naman magawa. Cool, guys. Don't, Don't look, look at explosions. explosions. Ay nangyari, pero dito, jumps. Naramdaman niya dito si Fata. And here's to this member. Will there be enough damage? Let us see. It looks like there will be. They will take him down. Fata goes down. Si Jabs Timario talaga. Jabs Timario. Siyempre, idol natin yan eh, Jabs Timario. <laughs> 20 si is to 8. Si Jabs Timario. Si Jabs Timario. Oh, sino ang mas malakas? Siyempre, sabi nga dito, pinakilala sa akin ni Jabs Timario, si Mr. Jabs Executive. Pero mamaya akong kwento ko sa'yo kung ano nangyari. Kasi sabi niya sa akin, the Tito of Philippine Mobile Esports. Yan si Sir Jabs Executive. <laughs> Pero meron, dapat meron din silang ano eh. Dapat meron din silang mga tagline nila. Oo. Oh. Ano, mobile games is not a dead end. <laughs> Pero wala, wala, wala. Back to the ball game tayo mga kaibigan. 8 to 20 ang score natin ngayon in favor of Faceless. And uh, in terms of net worth, top 2 ang position 1 position to dito ng Faceless. So wala talaga silang ka-problem problema dito. And um, di na mo dumagdag pa ng setup, bumili pa ng yules. Yeah, set up indeed for the side of them. Crimson Guard naman ang pinili dito ni Paring ay size size natin. I think medyo, ay ni paring uh, XY natin, medyo on the side of the utility. Gusto niya tulungan yung mga kakampiya. But I think that's okay. There's gonna be the break. Oh, pero ito, the sunstrike, mga kaibigan. Hindi pero ito, mama. Ayun. Oh, pero ito, warlock ulti warlock sa gilid. Ulti jabs dito, medyo nahuli siya. And ito na, mga kaibigan, XY dito, wala siyang pakialam. Tornado Nagawa niya na ang trabaho niya. Eclipse. Namatay dito mga kaibigan ng Batrider. Namatay din dito ang Witch Doctor. Si Tinangkin nila. But XY is still Pero Eternal Envy dito. Nag-madness siya. So anong gagawin niya dito? So okay. So anong pinaglalaban niyo Team Faceless dito? Mga kaibigan. Next Assassin will go down. Ice, ice, ice dito. Medyo hindi na kaya lumaban ng Team NP dito. Unang-una. O wala na silang mana dito. Yep. Kung baga may buhay sila, wala silang mana. Eh ang Lina Scale type. 
baka may pagpalawang kay XY. Yeah, I think faceless dito overestimating yung kanilang power. I think hindi nila nalaman na kaya silang patay dito na Team NP and that's what happened. Although Team NP dito medyo nagkamali sila dun sa kanya ng Eclipse pero the chaotic offering was on point. There was also a good connection from the Fata combo dito and nakuha niya din na kill kay Ice Ice Ice. Perfect rotation, perfect reaction I guess from Team NP. Nabulaga kasi dito ng ano, ng Team NP yung faceless. Pero tignan mo naman kung ano nangyari. May dalawa pa rin namatay sa kanila. So doon mo palang, makikita mo palang yung pagkakaiba ng items nila eh. Yeah, that's true. Pero the hook is not gonna connect onto Luna. Jabs with a semi-blind hook dito. Akala niya eh, medyo nag-overestimate pare ko. Kung baga nag-ano yun eh, kung baga nag-cooldown naman yun. Bakit mo titipirin kung nag-cooldown naman? Buti sana kung infuse rain traps yun na hindi ka talaga magpapataba kasi hindi na babalik. Shadow Blade picked up by this Lina. Lina Luna pala kanilang meta dito. Lina Luna. Pero dito Black joining XY mga kaibigan pero He has the Lincoln Sphere. Is NP aware? Well, dito sa baba, Fata trying to push pero ice, ice, ice. Okay, masyado kanya. Masyado siya magaling but the Sunstrike will still get the kill. Black is on a mega kill streak. And just like that, And everything, sila ng Roshan. everything is served to Black on a silver, silver platter. Yeah. So, wala. Kung baga, baby, baby. This is spoon feed Dota. Ito ang tawag natin dito. Spoon feed Dota indeed. Look at that. Six kills. Pero may six kills dito si Fudge. Along, along with his assist. So, grabe. Three deaths. Six kills. Three deaths. For a support? For a support. Masaya na ako dyan. Be... Masaya na ako dyan. Be thankful. Be, be humble. Sit down. Oo, oh, sit down. Huwag ka na, hindi ka na magre-reklamo dyan. Pero ito, the push. Oh, the hook to. Si Paddy Rider. Si Paddy Rider. The si Sun Strike. Sun Strike. Unstoppable dito ang ating invoker. And no one will stop the relentless aggression dito coming out from Team FL. Kakayanin ba ng NP dito? Uy, pero naku po. Eternal NP. Pipigilan niya lang yung TP na ito. Paramdam ko, pipigilan niya yung TP na ito eh. Hindi ka pwede mag-TP, Bestico. Bawal ka mag-TP, Bestico. Bawal ka mag-TP. Pero ito, ngayon na nga nangyayari. Pag nag-TP, ayaw mag-TP. Ayaw mag-TP. Masyado matigas yung ulo niya. Ang tigas. Bash. Ganyang katigas. Pero hindi ah. Nandun sila papunta sa lahat sila dito kay Eternal Envy. And they will go for it. Sunstrike. May madness siya dito. And the madness working against Eternal Envy. At ang kapal pa ito, Shrine. So... The economical damage na ginawa dito ng Faceless para sa NP, napakalaki. Nakuha nila yung kill dun sa Tore dito sa Tier 3 sa magitna. Nakuha nila yung kill kay Eternal Envy ngayon, makakuha pa sila ng Shrine. Team NP, yung Theory Crafting nila dito, hindi na, nag, hindi na gumagana, pare ko eh. Oo, kumbaga at mag-Theory Craft ka na mag-Theory Craft. Pero kapag ka, ang kalaban mo nakapag-adapt sa loob ng game, Exactly. Sobrang laking bagay nun. Sobrang laking bagay na kailangan mo tignan nun. And I think, eto yan ha. Both teams are, an, are on orthodox. At kung sino man unang manalo dito, may window of error pa silang isang game. Okay. So they can pull Still. out, or they can pick cheesy drafts okay. na pwede kumana, pwede hindi, pero at least, di ba, you try. Yun at least yun. you try. Sabi pero nga, ayun, subukan mo. Yun na nga. Barracks Subukan will be taken mo, down by Faceless. Subukan mo at papasukin ako. Subukan mo at papasukin ako. At Mosh right pa next target nila. This is a freight train of Faceless. Katulad nung ginawa nila against OG nung game 2. After nila malaman na meron silang lamang, after nila malaman kung ano yung pwede nilang gawin against NP, pinaulit-ulit-ulit lang nila. Against OG pala, I mean. So dito, ang formula for, N for Faceless is to Pero get yun, the pickups. Pero yun, kanina pa kami pinupuli. Masyado kang makulit. Masyado, Masyado kang, kang makulit. gala. Masyado kang gala. Fata gets the kill on to Ice Ice Ice. Pero sabi ko nga, faceless dito against OG kanina. Rinse and repeat strategy lang ginawa nila. Ngayon, the same thing happened. Pick offs using the Nyx Assassin to really get the... to really amplify the strength of your invoker. Siyempre, binibigyan mo ng kills eh. Pero ito lang yung sinasabi ko, parang yung Wolfa. Two minutes on that ages. So, ibig sabihin, pagka buhay dito ng Nyx Assassin, nasa one minute na lang sila. So... They need to make something happen ASAP. Kailangan nila i-utilize to the max efficiency itong Aegis. Okay. Hindi pwedeng mananahimik lang sila pagkabuhay dito ni Ice Ice. Yeah. And I think that 
they won't let that happen. It looks like they are making the moves right now. Katulad niya, nagpumush na sila dito sa tier 2 tower, sa may bottom lane, para yung kanilang push din ay methodical. They don't need to anymore push the mid lane. Pero I think, siguro ang first move na lang dito for the side of Faceless is to at least push out the top lane. Dahil medyo nagranat na dito si Paring Envy natin. Pero ito, Eternal Envy, hindi pa rin nadala. Nag-farm pa rin siya sa kabila. It rhymes. It rhymes. Hindi na nadala. Nag-push na lang sa kabila. Nag-farm sa kabila. Nag-farm sa kabila. I mean. TP, rotations from the side of Faceless. This is what we expect from them. Tapos to push out, may movie up out. Push out the lanes, mga partners. Paano ka lalaban dito against Faceless? Isipin mo naman, if you don't catch them by surprise, matino ang laban, how do you fight them? Hmm. So, oh, that's really hard. But I think that Warlock, at least, kapag nakapag-land siya dito ng chaotic offering na maganda sa likod, okay lang din. Parang, they can do the thing na wapakels muna sila dun sa Bristle. Bakit hindi na muna pansinin. Maybe you'll see him up a uh, couple of times or maybe just uh, enchant him. Basta zone him out completely and then go for the backlines instead. Look at the kill of the Witch Doctor or maybe the next assassin if you can. Pero tignan mo yung ginagawa nila dito. Uh, kung bagay yung ekonomiya dito, tama ka nga naman kanina. Hmm. Yung ekonomiya ng NP dito, talagang pinigilan nila na sobra. Bakit? Nag-farm sa gubat dito si Eternal NP. Ilang, siya na, ilang beses siya nabigyan. Tat apat. Apat, tatlo, tat apat, apat, tatlo, 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 alam, ah. pero dito, nagkukumit sila ng sobra sa isang ano, ilusyon, ilusyon, wala, natakot na sila masyado eh, Lincoln Spear, ngayon rin, ah, meron dito ang uh, Nix Assassin, I think that's only the recipe for him, pero, hindi, you... nasa kanya na ata eh, hindi, ano lang yun, recipe, ng bagong ano yun eh, bagong uh, animation, kumbaga, yung recipe on top, dun din yung itsura nung ano mo, okay. yung mismong, bubuhin mo, kumbaga, So parang resibo na talaga siya. May pinapakita na siyang pwede mangyari. Tunay na resibo na ang ating mga recipe ngayon. Pero ito, MSS trying to spot out someone or just trying to show the lanes. Assault Kiras, meron na dito ang Brizzleback. So, mas gumanda pa yung pag-team fight nila dito. May magic resistance na yung supports. Meron pang... Physical damage resistance. Physical damage resistance. Kiras, Crimson, Pipe. Marami, halos na Shiva na lang yung cool... Ah, hindi, mech. Masa yung mga ganun defensive na rin kulang niya, pero nakuha na niya yung top tier na mga defensive items dito for his personal back. So, ayun, kaya naman dito ng NP sa high ground because they have the bat rider, pero si XY dito wala nang katakot-takot. Would you think that malaking factor din yung punch dito? I think it is. Kasi, I think with punch, kapag effective ka with your position for place, I think nabibigyan mo ng advantage yung team mo na sobrang taas, would you would you agree with me na ang performance dito ni, ni Jab sa kanyang Pudge ay maganda? Oo. Oh, Kung baga, ito lang naman yun eh. Ito lang naman yun para sa akin sa Pudge eh. If yung Pudge mo sobrang ganda, you're gonna uh, papasok ka sa utak ng kalaban mo eh. Okay. Kung baga, kanina pa tong Pudge, teka, kailangan oh. ko mag-ingat. Sa sobrang pag-iingat, hindi nila naiisip pa minsan na sa sobrang pag-iingat nila, doon pa sila nadadali. Oh, kasi Hindi pa mo nilalaro yung laro mo mismo. Nilalaro mo yung laro mo against uh, isang patch na, na, na nag-snowball hmm. na hindi mo maintindihan basta bigla-bigla ka na nanahok. Parang it gets on Ta the, level, the mind level. Eh. Parang, oh, ganun, parang eh. takot plus uh, syempre, alam mo na, takot plus yung ano ba? Ano ba pwede natin sabihin? Anxiety, I guess. Anxiety na pwede ka mahuli anytime. Oo, kasi mahirap yun eh. Parang malilimit lagi yung mga movements mo. To the point na yung words mo pa, hindi mo nung mag-replace. Kasi hindi mo naman talaga alam kung nasan sila eh. Totoo yan. At idagdag mo pa yung next assassin dito na katulad niya kanina kung saan-saan nakaka-pick off. So, ang dami kailangang i-burn out na resources dito na side ng MNP just to deal with the aggression na pwede mag-galig sa faceless. Oh, yun. Pero yun talaga para sa akin. Psycho. Psycho nga Psycho naman. gaming. Kapag ka... Uy, oh, pero yun nakahatak yung isa. Tag sunstrike dito. Just to see Scout. Oh. kung sino ang nandoon. At nakaspot siya ng tatlong tao. Yun talaga kasi yung pinaka problema para sa akin sa Pudge. Pudge is actually... Sinasabi natin, Pudge is actually, Pudge is actually a pub hero. Okay. Na wala naman talaga siyang lineup na pinagbabagayan eh. Okay. Pero once na naging successful siya sa mga lineup katulad nito Oh. Ang laking factor ng no Psycho. It's more of a hit or miss, at least for me. Kasi pag hindi ka effective, eh, sayang ka. But Black, though, will find the Batrider. At mukhang 
Bat is for dinner ngayon. Parang uh, butter. Pagi, Sino, pagi ang... Pagi, pagi ang, pala. Pagi pala ngayon. Pagi ang nakalagay sa buffet natin. Indeed. Whew. Quite a devastating loss there for Team NP. No buyback on that bat rider. Pwede nila yung force action ito. Side ng faceless. Pwede nilang at least tingnan kung magbabayback ba itong bat rider. At kapag hindi siya nagbayback agad, malalaman na ngayon ng Team Faceless na wala siyang buyback. And they can really just force out the issue. It's gonna be an aggressive maneuver by the punch. Not gonna get anything out of it. Kumbaga blind-blind lang. Kumbaga nagko-cooldown naman yan. Hindi naman kailangan masyado. And they're just gonna go for the siege. I think it's about time that uh, Faceless goes for this. Pero Alacrity. Hook. Not gonna connect. Tamang chill lang dito Wala sila yung... magawa dito but of course the bat rider is gonna be responding soon at magbabak na lang sila dito. Yun nga yung sinasabi ko sa'yo. Okay. Yung psycho. Tingnan mo, LSA lang sila ng LSA. Kesa LSA palo, LSA lang. Okay. Hindi sila lalapit. Hindi nila riot kilkin. Hindi nila babawasan. Ganun yung takot at Ganun uh, yung takot at, at worry. Yung, yung worry, I worry. guess. Or tama. anxiety. Anxiety, tama, tama. Anxiety nila sa isang pudge. Na anytime na pagka lumapit sila, nagkamali sila ng isang tapak, malamang sumama sila dito. Hatakin sila ng face test pag maging six man. Mangingis na dito ang pudge. This is, I think this is the fear strategy from the side of the faces. Nick's assassin plus the pudge, you're never safe. You're at never yun, safe. dahil dun sa pag alam mo na hindi ka lagi ligtas, hindi ka makakapaglaro na maayos. And you create an illusion na kontrolado mo yung mapa kahit hindi naman talaga. Okay. So, I totally agree with that. Parang kahit wala ka namang words, pero yung feeling ng kalaban mo, nag-words ka. Ganun yung nangyayari. Tapos dumakating sa punto na, Oy, may words dun. Oo. Tapos ikla pag nang, nilapagan ng sobrang daming sentry. Pero wala. Nilulok mo ko, wala namang word eh. Oo, ganun yun na Yun yung illusion na nagagawa dito ng team faces na, ang words limited lang naman eh. Yeah. Apat lang na words ata yung pwede magsabay-sabay sa isang yeah. ano. Yung for possible na four words. Hindi, pwede naman kung inipon mo, tas sa huli mong ginamit. Oh, pero pero, pero naman. Kung, kung maglalaro ka ng effective Dota, apat ang pwede magsabay-sabay sa loob ng seven minutes. Yep, that is true. Pero kasi, yun nga, da, dumarating sa point na warded dito, warded dito. Lalabag sila ng sentry, wala namang word. I like the pickup from the bat rider. Mayroon siyang blink tag. Mayroon siyang big IP tako na gamit. Kakasabi ko lang. Pero ito, the lasso on to the, uh, the, the bristle bat. Uy, pero walang damage yung Laguna. Nakita mo ba yun? Nalinkin yung Laguna. Nalinkin indeed yung Laguna. This is a pero mess up from a NT. Pero pata getting caught out. NT. LSA on 2. Invoker and jabs getting caught out. Eclipse, wala rin damage. Grabe yung mga ultimate dito. No effect. Bat rider will be taken down. Fata and will come up member next. And to remember. This yeah, member to remember, that's the gem down. Sounds like when it connect, it will be there. And Ice 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 looking for the Envy. The tornado. tornado. Tamang lipad ka muna dyan. So high. Fly solo. Mga kaibigan, a tribute to Fly solo. A tribute to Fly solo indeed. At Aoi 2000, you're next for dinner. XY just... Breaking havoc, the hook will connect. Sunstrike will also be there. Actually, hindi to mama, pero okay just lang. Like that, just like that, four this. down. I think this is GG. I think this indeed will be GG. At the very least, magkaroon ng dalawang set of barracks na down dito for the side of Team NP. Team NP nag-smoke sila, desperate smoke. Gusto nila gumawa ng move, pero lahat ng ultimate nila ay hindi gumana. Laguna was link, uh, tinamaan ng link dito. Yung BKB ng Bad Rider, walang, tinama, uh, walang nagawang effect para sa nila at yung Eclipse, wala rin tinamaan. Subukan nila pigilan to at hindi ko alam kung ano ginagawa dito nila pa ilay dahi. At uh, Faceless is one game away from heading to the semi-final.